This is Eric Moore with Mother.com. Let's take a look as a follow-up to a previous video I did recently on RSI levels. In this video, I want to take a quick look at the RSI level of 38.2. In the previous video, I was talking about how stocks respond when moving above or below this level. And again, a quick example here, we can see as we dropped below 38.2, the first time in a couple of years here, you can see how this corresponds with a big down month. And then we drop below 38.2 again here, which is big this big down month. So it, clearly there's something that happens to stocks when they move below that 38.2 level, especially if it happens within, let's say, more than three years. Now, if we take a look at a, this is a three-year monthly. Let's take a look at a longer monthly time frame. This is all data monthly. But before we take a look at the long-term monthly, just take a look here and we can see that, yes, this move here, and this is again, the blue line represents the area around 38.2. We can see that this is 2015, about April there. So by the time it drops here, this is more than three years. Again, you get a big down month. You break below that same level again, which is moving to fresh multi-year lows, which again represents with this big down month. Now, to confirm that the 38.2 level is a level that the trading instruments are aware of, I want to show you something pretty interesting, or at least I believe is interesting. If I draw that line there, again, the blue line represents 38.2. Let's take a look at the stock's initial powerful move from 2002 into 2003. Remember, this is a dot com, so coming off the 2000, 2001, 2002 dot com bear market, this stock took off here, moving from about, I recall, from about a dollar sixty nine was the buy point, to the highs here of about forty five. So that was a big move. Now I want you to pay attention to what happened at the beginning of the move right there. Notice where the RSI was trading. RSI moved above 38.2. And it so happens to also meet the minimum requirements for the ultimate Moade breakout. And I recall at the time we were trading this instrument because we saw the stock meet the minimum requirements for the ultimate Moade breakout. Right there. Again, the moral for this video is we need to understand how the level 38.2 plays a role in determining any trading instrument's next major direction. Let me finish up by stating some of the major lows in price have come as the RSI held the 38.2 level. This is Eric Moada with Moada.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E. C. Yes.